Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I am looking at rain out my window so I thought it'd be a great day to do a get ready with me and try some stuff from the new BoxyCharm box. Well, it's a rainy, gloomy day outside today, which means I'm not going to the playground. So I thought it'd be a really good day to do a quick get ready with me. Today I'm going to be trying a lot of the products that came in this month's BoxyCharm. Um, I didn't really get a chance to try them a whole lot during the BoxyCharm video, so now I kind of wanted to play around with them and see how they actually work out. So the first thing I'm trying is this No Pore One Prime Essence. And I've tried their primer before and it's a fine silicone based primer it blurs and it does all of that um, but I read the box on this and I don't know if this is necessarily a primer um, it says it's the last step of your skincare and it's a prime essence so I do have my skincare on for the day and we'll just try this and see how it goes so it's got kind of an interesting tip so I'm not sure if you apply this directly or what but I that's what I'm gonna do it's only gonna ever touch my ooh ooh it's really runny. I'm just gonna use my hands and see how it goes. It smells really nice. It smells like a soap. It says it's got calendula extract in it. And I feel like I probably put enough for my whole face just on that side. Today, I am going to just be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Another reason I kind of wanted to escape up to the beauty room in the middle of the day is we're having construction done um, a little bit on our home. We're getting a new deck put in. Ours was basically, this house is 30 some years old and everything pretty much on it is original. Um, so the house was one of those houses that was I think built in a development that was kind of put together pretty hastily and some stuff is not so great on it like the guy that we have doing our construction he fixed our bathroom we had a pipe leak this summer or this winter um and he was in the bathroom and he's like yeah there is this vent in here your bathroom vent doesn't go anywhere it just like goes behind the wall so it's the basement bathroom and it doesn't get used a lot but like if we use that bathroom if we had guests a lot or somebody you know we had a roommate that lived in the basement or whatever that used the shower all the time and then turned the vent on. All that vent would have been doing is just putting damp, moist air behind the walls and probably creating mold. So thank goodness we don't use that bathroom for like showering too much. And so he um, just unplugged the vent. He's like, you don't need it. All it's gonna do is cause problems. And then now we have that same guy doing our deck <laughs> and we noticed there's these like holes on the outside of our house that had like just vent covers over them and when he was taking down stuff for the deck i was like what are these vents to there's nothing that vents and he goes this is probably where it would have been if they had finished construction properly and like put the bathroom vent together so now there's just these like holes in our wall and it's probably the reason we get mice in the winter time because it's like so it's like a hole and then inside the hole is a smaller like pipe or tube where it like would have vented out and then around the pipe is just open so like it's just like a wide open door for mice to come in and look for some warmth during the winter time and that's why we've been dealing with mice every single winter for probably the last 30 years so needless to say we're very glad that we found this contractor because he's like totally honest a super nice guy does the work fast does the work really well um <laughs> finding all the things wrong with our house so he's definitely somebody we're very glad to have found and I'm very glad to be getting a new deck because now we can actually have people over <laughs> and they can sit like that's the great thing about summertime here is like the sun stays out until like it's light enough outside to be outside until like 10 almost 10 30 every night so we want to have people over for barbecues and stuff but you know with a deck that was rotting and falling down we can't so now that's something that it's early enough in the summer we're going to actually be able to enjoy our backyard and the deck space like for the rest of the summer and of course i'm thinking of like all the potted vegetables and herbs and stuff that i can put out there um in addition to my current garden space Alright, for eyes today, I will be using the Tarte, I think it's called BU Naturally palette. It looks like this. 
and it's a mix about 50 50 of mattes and shimmers which is nice because i do this came in the boxy charm box for june and i do feel like a few months ago i got very 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 similar to this palette but it was all shimmers um and i didn't love it so i gifted it to my mom and i'm sure she hasn't touched it um but this one i think might be a little bit more useful it's a lot of good neutral like warmish neutrals and a good mix of mattes and shimmers i'm going to start with this pink shade here it's called Glacier. In other news, this has been like the, it's just been a weird, stressful, busy last week. My grandma has decided that she's moving. She lives in an apartment building right now. It's like, it's an apartment building, but it's an apartment building that like caters to people that need a few extra amenities, I guess is what we'll say. It's like, it's not an assisted living home it's truly an apartment building but like the bathrooms all have like um the bars like the access bars on them and there's oops um there's like the halls are extra wide for wheelchair access and it's mostly like i call it her like old lady sorority because it's a bunch of you know beyond retirement age just older women um well and men but you know women not lip men um so it's a lot of ladies there and they do puzzles and have coffee and gossip and uh, so it's totally like a sorority house next i'm gonna try this tan shade here tan eh, yeah it's like a caramely tan it's called explore so, but my grandma's decided that it is time for her to transition out of that apartment into kind of an assisted living um type of facility she it'll still be an apartment and she'll still have all the same stuff and all the same freedoms except she is having a lot of problems with her eyes so she just needs a little bit more help um like she doesn't cook for herself anymore because it's just her and you know it kind of sucks cooking for one person and she can't see so great so it's one of those places that's um it's like a nice apartment building except they will bring your pills to you so it's just it's really nice and then they have nurses on staff in case like somebody falls or gets hurt or they have you know if she's gonna need more care a little bit in the future that's like between living on her own and living in a nursing home and i think she's finally ready for that for the longest time she was like no um but as her eyes are getting worse it's time all right next i'm gonna grab this darker brown shade here called daybreak but also with that she's moving from a two bedroom to a one bedroom and we're downsizing now i don't know if any of you have ever moved a grandparent <laughs> to a larger from a larger place to a smaller place it is very um challenging to get them to <laughs> downsize and it's like <clears throat> this brush sucks oh it just started raining our poor contractor he's out there getting poured on oh man that stinks anyway moving grandma is not the easiest right now she's in the funny space where she's you know willing to let things go to go to the smaller place and be able to manage things more but it's like an episode of hoarders where they say that they're ready to do something but then they look at things item by item and everything is perfectly good i could wear that i could use this like we went through clothes yesterday and she's lost a lot of weight lately and it's just you know from her eating less because she doesn't cook as much and just generally getting old and shrinking so she has all these clothes and literally some of them are older than me but she has all these clothes that i you know want her to pass on to you know she, and they're beautiful she takes such good care of her clothes but she's got these beautiful clothes from when she worked so she they're like professional like nice women's clothes i want to take them to the local dress for success and if you don't know what that program is definitely look into helping them out what they do is they provide clothes for um clothes and accessories just outfits for women who are um in a rough spot really that are trying to get out into the job force but don't have you know interview ready clothes or shoes or like a nice briefcase to carry their resumes in or just anything like that so they take donations of lightly used um like nice professional clothes and they help with you know preparing you for an interview they teach you interview skills and they get you all dressed 
um, and get you feeling confident and ready to go. So I want to take a lot of her clothes to the local dress for success, but she'll look at them and say, oh, you know, it's perfectly good. It's very nice. And then I'll say, grandma, it's three sizes too big, but you know, she could, you know, I could still wear it. It's perfectly good. And I'll say, grandma, it's older than me. So, and then eventually she'll, you know, make the decision to let things go or keeping them so far she's doing very good i will i will give her a lot of credit for as hard as i thought this was going to be she's doing pretty good at letting go of things that she knows she's not gonna wear and like we're letting her keep some sent you know the sentimental things but you know like heavily padded jackets from the 80s she just doesn't need anymore and we're getting rid of those and next i'm going to use this kind of pinkish shimmer here it is called crystallized <sighs> So that's been kind of my last week and a half. We're working on getting, just getting her ready to move and transition and it's hard. And it's, you know, it's hard on her because she doesn't want to feel like she's a burden, I think, but also she needs the help. So I think she knows that and she's getting ready, but I do think it's also hard on my mom and my aunt who are, you know, her only two children you know, also seeing their mom aging and moving into this different facility. And it's just been, it's been a challenging week. Um, but it's been really nice to know that I'm here to be able to help when they need it. And I, I hope I'm providing good help instead of being like the hard ass that says, grandma, you have to throw away stuff. But also if that's the role that I need to take so they don't have to, I am glad to do that too. All right, and brows, I'm using the old LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil in Brunette. Well shoot, I just reached the actual nub of my eyebrow pencil. This is the first cosmetics product that I've actually reached the bottom of in a long time. So R.I.P. Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. I'm going to go pop on some Lash Princess mascara and I will be right back. All right, mascara is on. Let's do the rest of my face. I'm going to use the Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette because this is another one I got in a subscription box and I guess that's going to be the theme for today. All right, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but Last week I did something pretty cool and I posted in my story some updates on it. I made jam. So we have wild, not wild, my grandmother planted it? My grandma. Yeah, I live in my grandma's house. Um, so my grandma planted rhubarb um, and it comes back every year. It's a perennial. But this year it came back and we had so much of it. I gave a bunch to um, a friend who makes rhubarb crumble with it. So I gave her a bunch and then I would give some to my parents because my dad makes the most delicious dessert with rhubarb. Um, but really rhubarb is kind of just a technicality. The whole dish is like cream and butter and a butter sugar delicious crust. Um, really summer and rhubarb is an excuse to eat this insanely delicious dessert. Um, but anyway, I would give them rhubarb, except they have their own rhubarb that grows like nuts. Um, and if you don't know what rhubarb is, I think it's, I had to explain it to a friend of mine in California the other day because um, she was watching the Great British Baking Show, watch it if you don't, and she didn't know what rhubarb was because she's from Florida, but she lives in California and yeah, it doesn't grow there because rhubarb excuse me rhubarb needs winter in order to grow so she was looking it up because they talked about it so much on the great british baking show um and then i used it to make jam so the jam turned out super well and it was really easy but there is this like funny moment where i was making this like i was making jam out of rhubarb and stuff that i grew in my backyard and i just like took a moment i'm like who am i i always joke about um, that I live on the prairie because my backyard is a field and um, North Dakota is a prairie state. But I always joke that I live on the prairie and then I like had this moment when I was at the stove making jam, looking out at my garden that I'm gonna be using to can things this year and just like, yeah, I'm like a prairie homesteader now. <laughs> 
If any of you want the recipe, it's super easy. Um, comment below if you want it and I'll post it in somewhere. I don't know. All right, let's get these lips done. I'm going to be using um, the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade peach tea and also it came with this lip pencil um, it's dirty little secret pale pink is the color it's nice because it's a very long pencil um, and the color looks like it might be okay let's put it on and just try it out all right let's try the gloss it smells like vanilla frosting I'm into that oh that's pretty That's pretty. Oh, it smells so good. And it's not sticky. Mmm. All right, this gloss, awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me while I got ready to, um, I don't know, go look at the rain, I guess. <laughs> Um, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more of whatever this is. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.